guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ginny and you're watching Polly's Paper Studio. Today I have a fall inspired card for you with images that I stamped and hand colored and some beautiful paper layers and foliage. So uh, let's make this together. I've got this Recollections Halloween clear stamp and die set. Um, it comes with these really sweet Halloween inspired jack-o'-lantern type faces that you can layer on. Um, so this is a very great stamp set for Halloween, but I'm just going to utilize that pumpkin for my fall cards. And that's a good way to get additional use out of a stamp set. Um, and I found that I was able to use just a clear block and stamp that and it gave a really good impression. I'm also using this Memento Tuxedo Black Ink because I want to use my uh, Spectrum Noir markers. So once I had them stamped, I um, let them dry and then I pulled three colors from my Tri-Blend set um, from Spectrum Noir. Now I'm gonna do a separate review video on these. I purchased these a while back for my birthday and I have some things I really like about them and some things that I think are um, not what I expected but anyway I really do love them um, and so I picked a couple of colors here that I thought were very good for fall so obviously the orange and then the tan blend and the golden brown um, and so the best thing about these markers is it has all of the shades um, that you need for your highlights and your shadows in one pen. So they definitely take up much less space in your craft room. I took mine camping this weekend and um, it was really great to have all of the colors and the shades I needed to color lots of different um, pictures for my project. So I went ahead, I colored the orange one already and then also the tan one. Um, and then I'm going to color this last one. I just wanted you to see how easy it is. Now, I am definitely no coloring expert. Um, I really feel like I'm still in the beginner level, so I don't choose very complicated and hard to color designs. Um, I found that I am having much better luck blending smaller areas um, and the bigger ones just take so much ink so that's part of the process to learn so I'm just going to lay in that shadow the darkest tone around the outside and I'm picturing my shading to be in the center um, I don't know if this is the most accurate technique um, but it's the one I do and if you get a good result then just do it confidently and hope for the best, which is mostly how my coloring goes. So now what I'm doing is bringing in the mid-tone and um, you're probably not going to get enough ink the first time you lay down your color. So keep in mind that you're probably gonna go over it at least twice and then maybe even put your shadow back in um, a third time to get the saturation on the paper so that the color will blend in nicely. And also I am using the Nina Solar White cardstock and I found that these markers blend really well on that. So you see what I've done is I've just gone and laid in that first layer of color and then I'm going to bring in that shadow again. I'm really taking my cue from where the stamp lines are because I think that's where a shadow would be normally. And then a little bit of extra color around the outside to have some depth. And now you can see that because there are more, um, it's more saturated, that color is gonna blend nicer and it's these markers have a very nice amount of pigment so it does really blend beautifully some of the darker colors get away from you quickly because there's so much pigment that um, it tends to run a little bit but if you are careful and you um, 
don't try to color too much too quickly, the paper will absorb a lot of that. So now you can see, definitely got a great amount of depth there. Definitely see the highlight in the center. Um, and you can choose to go back in with your, um, your shadow one last time. And I think I'll do that just so that you can see. It definitely helps to bring in that depth. I think these are really pretty colors for fall. The variety also is nice so that you can layer them. So that's my three color pumpkins. And then for the stem, I'm just going to add um, the dark shadow on the side and then bring in the mid-tone. If you guys enjoy uh, coloring videos, uh, definitely let me know in the comments and I will add that to my list. Uh, but if you don't enjoy the coloring process, it's pretty easy just to skip forward to the card part. Now on this particular marker, I found that there wasn't enough um, difference between the darkest shade and the lightest shade. So I wasn't happy with the amount of depth that that came with. So I just pulled in my regular Spectrum Noir marker and it's just, um, these are EB up to three and this one is up to five. So that will give me a little bit of extra shading around the stem where the light would hit it. So these um, also come with a die. And I went ahead and cut mine out while I was camping. Um, I know we're pretty easy to fussy cut. I just left a little bit of a white border. So that is how I prepared those pumpkins. And then I just wanted to show you here really quickly as well. Um, because I was stamping, I thought it would be good to stamp the sentiment as well. Now I've got some lawn fun. These are just um, some happy, happy, happy different um, holiday sentiments and you can mix and match them has a hashtag and an exclamation in different sizes and different script um, fonts so that you can um, create your own individual design with that and because I like that Thanksgiving it went with my uh, fall colors I picked that I also brought in my lawn fawn fancy wavy banner and I know that that sentiment is straight but you see I was able to um, cut the banner out of my white card stock and then I just taped it down with a little washi tape and then very carefully just maneuvered that long holiday sentiment into the shape that it would um, go along with the curves of that banner and that was very easy it's very pliable so you can just kind of squish it as you go along and I'm going to use just walnut stain for this. This is my distress ink. Um, I tried the first time I stamped this with um, my Stampin' Up! Brown and it turned my um, turned my stamp pink. I don't really know exactly why. It's some kind of science but anyway you can just see how you'd want to go ahead and ink it multiple times so you get a very nice crisp and clear image and that is how you can mix and match more of your stamps and dies so that you get more use out of them. So I had those pieces prepared um, and now I can assemble my card. Here's my card base and I'm just using a six by six um, inch card and I finished the inside with coordinating pattern paper and left a section for a sentiment to be added. So I'm just going to begin layering on this. I'm using a not exactly brown. This is sort of a dark eggplant color. I think that really ties in well with my fall theme of my card. And I'm just using this as a border layer. So the rest of my papers are from the new Authentique Fall Collection. It's just absolutely stunning and I am so in love with it. So I'm just using these are patterns from the 8x8 paper pad because I liked the scale and I'm using um, a couple of different patterns and um, separating those with my solid cardstock. On the next layer you'll see I decided that it was too 
dark. So I have added a layer of white here um, and I'm just popping that up with some double-sided foam adhesive. So I did, um, like I mentioned earlier, we camped this weekend for the holiday, which was really very nice. Um, we got to uh, leave on the Thursday and come back Monday afternoon. So we were gone quite a while. Um, and we did have one day that was um, just uh, shopping. I went to Hobby Lobby, which is a rare treat for me because we definitely do not have one near our house. So that was fun. I picked up a couple things and um, went to Walmart. And then the next day we went on a little bit of a nature hike and it was so lovely. The weather here has turned um, very dry um, in the last week or so. And when the humidity breaks, um, it just makes it so much nicer to be outside, I think. Um, and it was a little cooler, too, so the bugs weren't bad. And that made me very happy. But unfortunately, this year in general, here in Michigan, has been very rainy. And that allowed something to grow successfully that normally doesn't. And I have had the most terrible allergy eyes, um, very watery, and because of that I developed some eczema, uh, and it was just really um, a lovely hike, but my eyes got very, very, very watery and terrible, um, and so I wasn't able to go on any more hikes for the weekend, um, and that is just how it is. It's disappointing, but I did bring my coloring supplies, so I did have something to do to keep myself busy. Um, and I did quite a few holiday um, images, things that I could stamp easily and cut out that didn't necessarily have to have their coordinating dies. So I'm just uh, plunking down those pumpkins. This is uh, going to have three. I just want to have them at a sort of nice natural angle. And then the one in the center I picked orange because I thought that would be a nice focal point. And I popped that up on a foam spacer as well. So that's going to have a little bit of depth and dimension. And I just kind of want to have that centered right to left, but maybe a little bit higher than the middle so that it would kind of create a nice arrangement. Now here's that sentiment I was talking about earlier. And I just stamped that a few times so that it would have a nice crisp image on that sentiment. And then I popped both sides up because you see that's going to be taller in the middle. I just put some foam dots on there. It's not going to be uneven in the middle if it's trying to work over top of that higher point. And also I think the stitch lines kind of go really well with this oval. This is uh, Amazing Paper Grace, the hem stitch oval. I really love that in place of a doily for this card because I put that right on that plaid and it definitely does not look too busy. It creates a beautiful background for my colored images. So I've got myself an arrangement here and I work off project as I usually do. I picked up some glitter paper over the week. Um, so I cut some of my leaves out of that, and then I brought in these um, skeleton leaves. These are the Tim Holtz ones. I've had um, a lot of luck using the branchy kind of one. I wanted to use the other ones this time as well, so I picked a couple of coordinating colors, uh, like this kind of burnt orange, and added those. And then also I brought in my Cherryland Design Fall Leaves. And they do not cut the center out. They just kind of cut an impression. So that is a nice way to add texture without extra um, fussy detail. I think that would have been too busy with these larger skeleton leaves cut out. Um, and so what I just did was layer them with some loopy twine bows. And then I put a little bit of netting that has a gold glitter on that. And I think that sparkle is really pretty. These are some chrysanthemums from um, Really Reasonable Ribbon, and this is a magnolia, all in those beautiful fall colors. I will um, be working on a 
another uh, floral arrangement video. I think that would be a good thing to do right before the holidays. In fact, I've been preparing my Halloween series and that will be coming up sometime here in September, not too long now. I just want to um, add some fun new projects as well as kind of cover um, techniques that I use for my everyday card making and I think that will be a great new series. Now that's going to be 12 days of Halloween which we did last year and it was so much fun. So I just added this cute little charm and I've tied it with some string and added it with a vintage button. And then last but not least I want to add this beautiful little bow. This is a stitched satin and it's just a really pretty I want to call it a chocolatey color um, sometimes I put um, another button and some twine inside my bows but for this one I just really like how simple that was and it definitely um, has that gorgeous fall color so here is my finished fall inspired card with my stamped and hand colored pumpkins. I will leave links in the description below so you can check out these products. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a like and leave me a comment. If you're not already, I would love for you to subscribe. As always, I'm wishing you a happy and productive day and I thank you so much for watching. Bye!